Trade Ideas UK. Hi and welcome to my video on my Elliott Wave Marker. Now please note this is not a indicator as such. Uh, it will not mark up the Elliott Waves automatically. Uh, this is a utility, an add-on utility for MT4 that will allow you to mark up your Elliott Waves quickly and efficiently. Okay, so let's get started. So this is a one minute chart of the pound dollar. Uh, I've already marked up some zigzags, some waves, uh, as you can see here. Um, we've moved up here, pulled back, moved up, pulled back, and moved up. I'm making higher highs and higher lows. So normally, um, if you wanted to start putting some um, you know, letters or numbers onto an MT4 chart, you have to go up to the text box um, and then choose the color that you want. Um, so say we wanted yellow and then the number zero. Okay, and you've moved to there, put your zero in. And then you go back up to your text box again. Um, and there's one. Place your one. Back up to the text box again. Choose a two. And as you can see, this is a very, very slow process. Text box again. There's a four. Um, sorry about this, I just wanted to show you how slow it actually can be. Uh, sorry, that should be a three actually, but we'll do, let's do a five anyway. There's our five. That should be a four, which is there. And then finally, which I've missed out. My apologies. Number three. There we go. <coughs> okay. So you've got zero, one, two, three, four, five, and if you wanted to do anything in between, like an ABCs or things like that, um, you'd have to put them in there, change the colours if you wanted a different colour, and that can be quite laborious. So what I did is I came up with a utility design whereby you can quickly mark up your Elliott wave, um, so you can do this quickly on numerous charts. So as you can see here, we've got... Uh, five boxes and we'll just quickly go into the Elliott Wave marker and then what we can do we can change these colors if you want different colors uh, that black or white or wherever and you've got the red for here and the font size and the font itself okay now let's say um, you want to start marking up your chart so you click on whatever you want to start with so let's start with the numbers and it starts with a zero so you put your zero in you click on it again and there's a one, there's a two, three, four, and five. As you can see, it's pretty quick to, to, to do. Um, and then say, for example, you wanted to do some sort of um, wave within a wave, uh, you can do that as well. So say, for example, um, you could use these Roman numerals. So let's say, you, you know, this was a, a one there, a bit of a pullback there, there's two say, and then it's come up to here, which is a <coughs> three, four, and five. So there's kind of your small waves within this bigger wave. And say you want to do like an ABC. I'm not saying this is definitely exactly an ABC. I don't know if that's lower than that. I think it is. So there's your ABC. Uh, maybe you want to put some sort of ABC in here. Uh, there's an ABC down there. And so on and so forth. Now, let's say now you wanted to delete the ABCs, um, so you can quickly do that. If you click on the delete button and click on the ABC, there's the ABCs gone. If you wanted to delete the numeric, the, uh, the Roman numerals, you can click on the delete button and click on the Roman numerals, and then finally click on the delete button and the numbers, and there they are, deleted quickly. Okay, now the good thing about the utility is if you click start clicking your numbers and you start putting them in well it remembers where you left off so let's say for example you wanted to start putting your Roman numerals in so there's a one and then there's a two there's a three not very good but there's a four and then uh, you got your five okay then you got an ABC down here say um, ABC well then you can go back to your numbers and it'll automatically remember that that's a two. Okay, 
and then you can um, do your one um, two not very good this not very good pullbacks there but say three four and five and then put your number and it remembers that that's a three then you can do a four and then you can do your five and then you can put your ABCs in as well A, B, C okay and then finally um, if you wanted to delete all the numbers and letters on the chart you can click on delete and then click anywhere in the chart and it deletes them all okay so that's just a quick and easy way of marking up your Elliott wave now this happens quite a lot so here's another move here so you've got your 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay and then you've got your ABC's A B and C and you can move them like normal okay and then you've got um say another a b c there a b and c okay and then you can mark up anything else that you want so then as i say if you want to delete you can delete your letters you can delete your numbers okay Okay, so this is just, just a quick video on showing you how the Elliott Wave Marker works. Um, so please leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, like the video if you like it. Um, and thank you for watching. So bye for now.